Mahakam worse than I built in a day. Mahakam! Prover versus Prover. Oh crap, I got the trap counter. I I'm I'm the ruler of the mirror. Do I care about that? Not too much. I would like to join to some better cards, but also I'm kind of happy that I don't have Roach and the other witches now. This is not a terrible hand. Oh, maybe the whole one goes. Oh, that's good. You go first. <laughs> Do you guys think he's... Oh, he's all about the, about the traps like me. Hmm. And the Vrihit Sapper is gonna be hella good. Am I concerned about? I don't know. Let's let's just let's just go smuggler. If he's just running the copy, Prover deck, then this should work great. We both like the piggies. This is boring. Come on, piggy, run, run into the field. Can we just have pigs randomly come to the field? Oh, he's much more of an elf lover than me. To do that. I like this Prover guy. He's just an elf spammer with spear. He probably has some. I'm guessing the Nivellen uh, Dragon's Dream combo for everybody, but nobody has it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm maybe um, a little paranoid of it. So apparently, not everybody in this game has the Dragon Dream uh, combo to win the game. Quite surprising. I'm not hitting that spear. We're just going to. Last round. I'm I'm passing. The thing is, we also have to keep in mind damage. What have we told him so far? He knows about the smuggler. He knows about the witchers that everybody has that. And I played an uh, elven woman. Or. Woman? Anyway, she's dead now. Nobody cares. So she's dead. And that's it. So what is this Brewer, fake Brewer, must be thinking? Oh, this is great. Well, oh, this makes it pretty damn likely. Oh, not, not only my cards are getting strong in the hand, but also makes it pretty damn likely that he's gonna pass next turn and we're just gonna have a long round free and he has no information zero about what he's facing he's he's weird too this is elven land Dwan, upon which he, he really likes the, uh, the the elves that's just unhealthy for uh, a dwarf I like him a little bit, but not as much as him. Okay. Um, this would be nice to pick up. Obviously, we are. Well, we have a Reheat Sapper, so that should be enough artifact counter. No, but uh, the value of the Dragoon here. Uh, 
Are you gonna push me? Blue Mountains! <laughs> Fucking he's clueless! Fucking bamboozled level 5 bajillion. What is this? He has no idea what he's facing. Oh man. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more passion. <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Well, maybe I should just vent the, with the archer. Yeah, definitely we should have vent with the archer. Let's just pass. I'm sorry, Burza. I sacrificed you for no reason. But I wanted to kind of discourage any kind of push from his... Uh, from his end. We have two traps. Uh, that's not particularly useful. Uh, no. It's best to play the crushing traps with the with Jorvis Gambit. Sure. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. I don't need the, the, the trap. It's just okay. Yeah. This is fine. A smuggler would have been an interesting option. Not having... well... It, it would be better if he started. I can Ragnarug right away. We can't play this. Problem is we have a lot of cards that we cannot play. What if I started with something like a Pitfall Trap? Very unusual. But maybe makes sense. So I'm gonna make... Well, okay, we're gonna start with an Elven Scout. You should not have come here. And and this guy's gonna be like, "What? You got traps? Why did I throw away, Mister Trap Man?" Well, maybe you should ask the piggy for your piggyback right now, because this guy. A little bit misread the situation. A tiny bit. Scout. Scout is technically the best if she doesn't die. So that's how we can maximize value. value. Scout, scout, pitfall trap. Cannonball! Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Huh. What do I do with that? How about like Ragnarok it? <laughs> that works. Now oh, we can just Ragnarok it. It just moves stuff in the melee row. If he's not gonna play in the melee row anyway. None shall tread on us. But they can resist, and I like it. All right, let's Only go with that. We're probably gonna pick full trap soonish. Oh, what? He has a Scorch? Holy shit! It's <laughs> annoying.
How do we order this? Maybe this could be last. This can be last. This can be like uh, one or two before last. This, the, this and this should be two, two or three before last. Or not, one and two before last. This should be, should get played. Probably soonish. The Scorch Brewer uh, Spear Lover. Why not? Outplayed you? Well, he played nothing. Can you just start playing anything? I don't want to hit his two power guy. <sighs> also, pulling something in the fire. Again, so bad. I don't want to play the crushing traps right now. But also, we are not going to be. In a good spot. The thing is, it's not necessarily a pitfall trap when I do this. Do you play something? Death to all dwarf. Well, that might be too much to ask. I shouldn't play the arch. Well, we shouldn't play. I can just like put him in the fire. I don't know. Humans are not to be trusted. So first comes, do not eat the yellow snow. The two crushing traps are gonna hit that reasonably hard. He's gonna be left with one HP. But I guess someone needs to be moved into the fire. And it might as well be her. No, 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 no. We can gain more points later. I can't play dead last, so... Gotta play the crushing traps now-ish. Oh, so he has one... Boosted unit. It's probably uh, Saskia. Or uh, Sasanthesis. Yes, one. That's great. So, let's go. Rushing Trap. In his case, I would have been a little tempted. Well, that was just unlucky. Straight up plus two damage or nothing. An ill wind. Really? That's ki I kind of fucked that up. Yeah, I fucked that up. I can't move it. I can only move the guy there.
I can just boost my own unit. They can hide, but there is no escape. How long does this fucking take? <laughs> Too bloody long. Oh no, he can even move my own unit. Ugh. Never mind that. Wait, what? I should have. No, 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 I don't. No, no, no. We could have maybe done it. This deck confuses me. Now he can move both my guys in the back. That's gotta be one way to win it. <gasps> wow. That was a confusing game. But. Well, I'm <laughs> wow. Okay. GG, Myron. Okay, uh, crack. By the way, do you guys find this deck as confusing as I do? Okay, we have weapon removal. It's a very common start, apparently. Uncrate. Or go for maybe another smuggler. It gives us carry over. Don't you pester me. Okay. So how serious I am here? playing but at the very least I should play one more card uh, the Alvin Swordmaster weapons laugh to scorn and play the witchers yeah, I find it confusing as well at times, but it's fun to play and do mind games with opponent. One bonus is that you're also doing mind games with yourself. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. I forget which cards are which cards. I'm messing it up. So this guy really wants to win round one. And he's in the lead by 22 points. Without using his, uh, well, his advantage. I'm not sure if I want to play the this card. I think I might just pass. Blah. There you go.
Not Roach. Actually, we might even want to keep Roach. Get Roach out later. But it's not gonna help if he's uh, gonna push us. So, maybe this approach is a bit greedy. So, that could be just a complete throwaway. After this, we play the Witchers, and that could be just the exact, uh, well, if he's gonna give, give it up, that that's gonna be the time to give it up, for sure, uh, without uh, losing a card. This guy does not hesitate. Although, holding onto Roach uh, does have the disadvantage that I'm kinda giving off the vibe that I have Roach in hand. And that is a bit of a pointless risk. Uh, at this point, we have to play Ragnarok, I believe. Because we can play Ragnarok without losing a card. And uh, it might be a long ground. And this is our way to gain a, a big advantage. But this is a terrible hand and that's why it's even more important to try to get away from this round as soon as possible. We can play the Elven Swordmaster, we have to. Good. No crushing trap. This is horrendous hand. Okay, I think we're gonna reheat Sapper here. What we might need to allow is that is for him to Gain back the card advantage, but I think that alone could be just the end of us. I got too greedy with holding onto Roach, and now we don't have any of our key cards. If he ended up passing, yeah, that would be epic. Uh You should not have come here. But we can just put this in the front. And that's it for now. Bill gives us the card advantage. He passed. Ooh. So may he may have suspected that Alvin Scout is shape of things to come. Yeah. Really, really, really pathetically weak things. But... Easy peasy. This guy's definitely not sniping. <laughs> Little does he know. Look at this pathetic hand. He did... Push me. He was a... He was a champ. He pushed me. Even lost the card to try to go for a shorter round three against the trap deck. I respect that. But also, can I just get my big big card? Uh, currently this has no purpose. 
Yeah, let's get rid of it. Not great. So this can technically get boosted three times. Uh, archers have no purpose, so... We're just gonna play the scout. Approach. Fine. How about Pitfall Trap? Uh, question is, where do I want to play? We might want to play in the range row. Oh, let's do something like that. That was a good use. We should play this one before last. These are not great now. I can have all kinds of traps, so if I replay the pitfall trap, that's not really saying anything. At least it shouldn't. Although, probably gonna expect Pitfall Trap. But let's just put it there, just to maybe pretend that we have something else, maybe. Although, if he can play around it, he most certainly will try. Now... If he doesn't know any better, he might, that might be, that might just give him the idea that this is not a pitfall trap. It, it, it completely is, but who knows? I never miss. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. I really hope he's holding trash. <laughs> I have a feeling what his hand looked like. <laughs> GG. Oh, this is gonna be an excellent uh, test. Okay. Perfect. We want the archer. We might not want the crushing trap. Sappers probably don't serve a purpose. So, currently the plan is... Yeah. Currently the plan is, is to go for a... Um, some kind of round one. But give up early-ish. I can just start with the Swordmaster, but we can also start with Pafko. Let's just go with Swordmaster. Does he have a way to kill it? Probably not. I would doubt it. But let's boost it anyway. So this should discourage uh, a certain card. Yeah, tokens getting played. But he has Arcaspore, he has Necker, he has Drowner, so all those cards can be uh, a little bit tricky to play now. Not as tricky, because of course they are really good cards. Uh, 
much left. Marcus Poor is obviously the best. Now maybe this is the time to sneak in the Neckers. Really? A lot? We can play this for four. Or just play the archer for five. I think, yeah, let's play the archer for five here. I, I kind of want to keep one archer. Ooh. Okay, now he has to play at least a nine. Okay, I'm gonna pass. The fact that we don't have to be in round one, we just kind of have to make sure that we got a longish round three, pretty big. He does have the the, the way to take this in two cards and pass round two and go for a long round three. But does he want to do that? Also, my deck is somewhat hidden now. No known Ragnarok. There's, there's really not much going on from his perspective. I played two archers. He knows that I have an elf influence and the witchers. Big whoop. Seems like he does not play with the artifacts, which is fine. It's a decent throwaway, but we should assume that uh, it's gonna be a proper fight. Maybe he wants to play some small units. I think we might just establish Bafko here. If he keeps pushing, there is a decent chance that we're gonna we have to play Ragnarok. Because it is just too risky. And that's that's not particularly a strong move. I'm, I'm still stalling the probably necessary Ragnarok play. Won't be able to to stall for long.
We are down 11 points. We're gonna push us more. Ragnarok front. Move Smuggler. Get that. Yeah, we don't have a choice here. We have to commit. Although now we're playing Ragnarok, uh, gives some gives him a bit of time to shut us down. Yeah, pass. We'll go up to 11. Four points is enough. Onward, fry head! Pass. That's okay. We got some boosts. We do have to double trap. Gotta be a bit careful. So let's say I don't want this trap. And that's definitely terrible. Okay, uh not great. That's a pretty bad hand. We don't have the double trap, we only have uh, one crushing trap. So if we ever gonna lose, this is probably gonna be the time. Uh, we gotta maximize value generation. May your sword and arm Probably gonna be followed by scouts soonish. Or maybe we're just gonna Mahakam Horn. I think at this point, the only reliable way we have to win this game is to hit some very sweet uh, pitfall traps. It's gonna be a bit of an RNG, honestly. So many piggies. You need to unleash the piggies. Okay. Just take me this time. Uh Ooh, that's good. Question is, does he have consume? Should I lock uh Gurdon Shores fruit? Is that uh, a realistic solution. So we can hit that. At this point, we might have to try it because I'm not feeling uh, particularly optimistic. So let's do that. Root gets locked. Not sure what's gonna get played last. Uh, so this gets played last. This gets played one before last. This should get played pretty soon. But we can play the Pitfall Trap. After that, actually a Horn can be played. Soonish. We, we might spook him with the Horn. So it's, it's gotta be like total mind game. If he has some trash... Oh. Yeah, that's not good.
He might play trash anyway. Alright. Let's go Elven Scout. Didn't play Chiron X, and does everyone has Chiron X? Ooh, that's bad. What I can do is play the crushing trap and flip it over right away. But that's just crazy. gotta be not worth it or is it worth it i don't know i'm conflicted but we can pretend that it's a crushing trap use brewer to kill those well we can kill those next turn as well so we, we can consider that Saving that for a pit trap. Yep, yeah, the thing is, these are probably gonna get a st stupid amounts of points. More than crushing trap is gonna get away from them. So, I think you're right. I think Mr. Brewer might need to intervene here. Uh, he'll probably gonna assume that this is a pitfall trap. Correctly. Oh, what? You should not have come here. If he did, um, that that was not the right play. Now, the thing is, we can fake a pitfall trap, but we should do it next turn. So I'm gonna go over here, dragoon. Move this. Then we, your vet, crushing trap. After like picking up the pitfall trap, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit right now. Slaughter them to a man. He has no idea what traps I can have. Well, well, the thing is, he might ex ex expect a double trap play. Well, he does have some idea what uh, traps I can have. Doesn't know for sure. Okay. Enough of this fast. So, well, that should make him assume that that's a pit trap. But it's not a pit trap. And if he has a better card... He's gonna play that next turn. And the pit trap takes it, pit trap takes it out. Hopefully that, that other card... Is not a spell. Uh, yes. Assume that it's... A pit trap. And it's not. Looks good. Well, it didn't matter, but... Well, it did matter... Well, I don't know. It could have mattered a lot if we hit the Ozreal, but... Obviously... He <laughs> didn't play it at the time where it could have been, like, so disastrous. It must be so annoying to play against this deck. <laughs> but yeah, this was awesome. GG.